Now I'm going to tell you a story that still holds me at bay. It was July, and even at night it was very stuffy. It was the heat and the sultriness that everyone I told this story to blamed on what was happening to me then. Everyone said it was a dream, a nightmare. Many people have nightmares, but I have a different opinion about it. I came home from a computer club pretty late. I didn't have my own computer at the time. It was past midnight. My parents were asleep. Then I went straight to bed, but I couldn't sleep for long. Unwittingly, I fell asleep. After a while, I began to see the ceiling of my room. I knew I was sleeping because I couldn't move. I don't like these dreams when you can't do anything in it. Not to run away, not to jump, not to say a word. It was a semi-reality kind of a dream. I mean, I was like conscious and in a dream at the same time. Then, something creepy started to happen. I heard mumbling. Someone was standing next to me and talking. I couldn't tell which language. I tried to wake up with my hand, but I couldn't. I had a cold sweat. I was lying there listening to someone next to me talking and whispering in a strange language. With shudder, I was lying there and wondering what would happen next. Then the voices stopped. I felt heavy looks on me. Next, I saw long figures growing slowly over me. They crowded above me and stared at me with their round eyes. Then they started whispering again. It became difficult for me to breathe. I began to suffocate. Something was pressing on my chest as if a cat or a dog was lying on it. My hands couldn't move as if they were held or I was paralyzed. I tried to shout but there was no sound. I was lying there looking at the ceiling and couldn't move. Suddenly I saw a bright flash of light. It was as if my body had been released from the paralysis. I heard my own scream and later saw my scared mother in front of me. She looked at me with frightened eyes, then hugged me tightly. In the morning she said that the heat had caused me to have such a terrible dream. I felt stuffy and my body reacted to it with such a terrible nightmare. I threw the blanket off at night and opened the window myself. I just don't remember it and dad laughed at me for being so fearful. But if it was all a nightmare and I threw the blanket off myself, then what were those marks on my hands that had disappeared 10 minutes later? I didn't have time to show them to my parents. Who was it? I don't know. Maybe it was evil guests from space? Terrible creatures who are experimenting on us. Perhaps for them we're just lab rats.